hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and gray zone warfare is now dropped and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make a guide on it so here in this video i'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings to optimize your windows and your game for maximum fps better visibility and stable gameplay make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Step number one is the compatibility settings of the game and for that simply open up steam on your pc and then right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files right over here head down to gzw binaries win64 and then you'll find the gzw steam client right click on that head over to its properties and then compatibility click on disable full screen optimization and then click on change idpi settings enable this option click on ok and then apply and then close it this will help you to get rid of unwanted input latency which will be useful in the next steps next step is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your pc and once you're over here come down to gaming head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off game bar is an overlay service and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your pc go back to gaming head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on it will optimize your pc by disabling unwanted things and applications off in the background allowing you to improve the performance next head over to the graphic settings right beneath that and then enable optimizations for windowed games and then you have to click on the add desktop app button and then add your game from the game directory over here you can simply copy the same file path and paste it right over here. Then head over to GZW, binaries, win64 and then you have to add the GZW client and then click on the add button. Once added, scroll a bit down and find it. Select it and then for the GPU preference, select high performance and ensure that it is utilizing your graphic card. Once that is done, head over to the personalization section and then click on colors and then disable transparency effects over here. Then simply close your settings. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy on your PC and this will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and then make sure that this policy is set to enable. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny. Click on apply and then click on ok. And once that is done, simply close it. This will disable all of the background applications easily. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And over here, select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it GZW just in case you do not miss it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, click on close and then close system properties. Next step is the gray zone FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in five simple folders over here. Let us start with the first one. That is a CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority and the same for Intel CPU. This will help you to set up the correct D word values for your processor to improve the performance. Next is RAM optimization in which I have left all of these registry files. This is really beneficial to optimize the performance of your RAM. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different so you can select it according to your preset. Next is the reset to default just in case if you want to reset it back again in any case. Third one is gray zone warfare priority in which I have left above normal and high priority and to apply this you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless and you guys can simply double click and start disabling every single one of them. Unless you use any Bluetooth or printer services leave these two and disable every single one of the service over here. It will help you to boost the performance of your processor by reducing the number of services running in the background and it is really beneficial in the longer run. Once again there is also a revert registries folder just in case you want to feel just in case you want to revert any of these services back again. Last folder over here is the programs folder in which I have left two simple programs. The first one is clean temporary files. You want to have to right click on it as administrator. Right over here you have to press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all of your prefetch which is absolutely safe and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then. To optimize the performance of your PC. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click in on it as administrator. Over here you guys will see an interface like this where you have to look for your graphic card and then ensure that this MSI button is checked. After that for the interrupt priority select high and this will allow your graphic card to prioritize and handle higher interrupts to optimize the performance. Once that is done simply click on the apply button and close it. Once all of that is done simply close this FPS pack. 
नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज फिक्सिंग ऑल ऑफ योर पिंग पैकेट लॉस हाई सर्वर लेटेंसी यूजिंग नो पिंग दैट यू गाइज कैन फाइंड अ लिंक टू दिस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो दिस इज अपर यूजफुल टूल विच ऑफर्स यू मोर देन वन थाउजेंड गेम्स टू चूज फ्रॉम यू कैन सिंपली सर्च फॉर ग्रे जोन ओवर हियर एंड हेयर यूल फाइंड द गेम Select it. It will show you all of the servers nearest to you. You can select the recommended server, which is recommended by AI, which shows you the lowest ping. Or you guys can also go by country over here. In this case, India has the lowest ping, so I'll select this server and then click on Optimize this game to improve my ping and tunnel my internet straight from my PC to the game servers to optimize the performance of my Ethernet cable. Not just that, it also helps you to boost FPS in this section, wherein you can enable the gaming mode, disable Chrome telemetry, disable Cortana, disable Dynamic. Dynamic ticks and edge telemetry. Other than that, it also has a ton of options which you guys can go through and disable them to optimize the performance of your PC as well. I would definitely suggest you guys to use no ping. So go check out more of their features from the link in the description below. Next step is heading into the game and applying the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings button and then click on the graphics button over here. Ensure that your window mode is always set to full screen. Display resolution should be a native resolution, and your FOV should be set to 75. Vsync off, brightness 100%. Contrast, saturation, and gamma should be your personal preference. Frame rate limit unlimited, and then for the quality. I have set it to custom presets where the 3D resolution is set to 50, global illumination low, shadow quality low, object quality low, texture resolution medium. But you guys can also go with low. Effects quality you guys can also go with low, but I have set it to medium. Reflection quality low, foliage quality low, shading quality low. After that for post processing, go with low. Sharpening I have gone with 20, color blind mode off. And then under the advanced settings for anti-aliasing and upscaling method I have gone with DLSS. and the dlss is super resolution to performance then the dlss is sharpness you guys can go with 20 over here as well works absolutely fine and video reflex low latency on plus boost fidelity fx frame generation on but once again if you have set your window mode to full screen this might not work so you guys have to set it to window mode and then you want to have to set this thing to on over here for the variable rate shading You guys can go with balance or performance both of them works absolutely fine. Once that is done click on the apply changes and then restart your game and then enjoy your game with the best FPS available. So guys that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video until then. Stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.